Hi Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and I'm here to bring you another love read. They are general, so take the parts that speak and leave the rest. Guys, if you're returning, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for, you know, uh, supporting the work that I do here. And if you're new to my channel, Pisces, um, welcome. I'm also over on Instagram where I do offer a variety of 10-minute readings over on my IGTV channel. So if that speaks to you, feel free to go and check those out. I will be uploading some new ones towards the end of this week. So um, keep your eye out for those. All the details on how to connect with me and work with me will be in the show more section down below. Pisces, you will also find the extended link to this reading downstairs. So if you really love this reading and you want to come away with me and unpack it where we go deeper, um, that link is there. And, you know, you're most welcome to join me over on Vimeo if that speaks to you, if this reading really resonates with you. Um, yeah. So Pisces, we're... We're ending or we're coming to the end of Aquarian season. So Pisces season is not too far away now. And perhaps some of you are starting to feel into the energies of your season. Okay. Where you're really able to just feel quite at home. You'll be feeling right at home in your season, in the season of Pisces. Um, so yeah, really looking forward to um, Pisces season approaching. Now, this is a love read, guys. Um, so I will be speaking to Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and or cross watchers. If you're a cross watcher tuning in, the messages may be for you. Okay, so um, just putting it out there. Now, what we've got here, guys, is we've, we've done something a little bit different this week or today with your reading, I've drawn three extra um, cards from my Twin Flames Oracle that I've personally created called Journey from the Shadows to the Light. Um, and as you can see here, we've got the first card coming through. Um, we've got Disconnected. Okay, we've got the card of Disconnection coming through. So let me just pick these up, which is really difficult to pick up because they're really smooth. So some of you may be feeling disconnected within a connection, okay? Someone here is feeling detached and disconnected from their pain body because I'm getting, I'm getting the sense that maybe someone is thinking about cutting ties or has already severed the ties um, or maybe even thinking about severing the ties and that's painful, right? We just that's painful it's uncomfortable no one likes to go through any kind of separation so i'm getting here that someone is disconnected from their pain body and the reason why that's happening is because it kind of like protects us okay so we can detach and become disconnected from our pain body to kind of like protect us so that's what i'm getting here the next card that came through was the obsession, okay? So um, maybe the person that you were dealing with, Pisces, or yourself is, is infatuated and is becoming obsessed by um, this person. So one of you, or maybe both of you, um, is infatuated with the other. And if there has been... Um, some kind of disconnection within this connection that can make someone feel obsessed okay it's like well especially if it's not a mutual decision especially if that decision was taken away from you if you're the person where that wasn't in control maybe pisces you're becoming obsessed um over this person and it's very hard to then sever those ties, cut those cords for good, right? Because the passion and the obsession is still there, but it's unhealthy, okay? It's not a healthy place to be in. 
Um, and even with this obsession here, someone that you're connected to or someone in this relationship, possibly dealing with a Scorpio, I'm getting, I'm getting a Scorpio, um, that they may have been obsessed with uh, sex, okay? Sex may have been the obsession which has resulted in some kind of uh, disconnection in this relationship, okay? Maybe it got too much. And we've also got the validation card here. So I'm seeing here that someone is still seeking validation here. Someone is still wanting approval from the other person and some kind of acceptance. And I'm also seeing here that, um, which I'm not feeling it's, mm, it might not be you, Pisces, but there's someone in this connection that is still seeking acceptance from the other so <laughs> with that, what they're doing is, or what you're doing, uh, whoever it speaks to, you're doing things to, because you're doing things that you think or that they think will receive validation from the other, that will get them validation from the other. So they're doing things to seek that validation, okay? Um, just because it works for Joe Blow over there, this person is thinking, okay, well, it's worked for those people. Why can't it work for me in this relationship? So they're doing things to get that validation, right? Now, it's really, um, yeah, I'm jumping all over the place because I'm looking at the animal spirit cards because it... I kind of want to go there, um, but it will make more sense in a moment. In the center of your reading here, this is the overarching energy or message that's coming through regarding your love situation. Now, keep in mind, Pisces, the messages that are coming through today um, will be valid until I release your next Piscean uh, video. And this card is about awaiting results. So I feel like someone's planted the seed, someone has drawn a line in the sand, um, they have a certain expectation, they have a certain requirement, they've put it out there and now they're just waiting to see what's going to manifest, okay? Now someone in this relationship is waiting for an improvement or things to get better, okay? Someone's waiting for something and they're waiting for results. They're waiting to see if this person has grown or this person is willing to improve themselves, okay? Um, now, I feel very strongly, whoever has planted the seed or has drawn the line in the sand or has decided, is the dragon okay because the dragon to me is like the top of the food chain here if we're going to look at the dragon and the shark i would say that the dragon holds um the power in this dynamic okay the dragon holds the power now i feel pisces that maybe you have the power Okay, but I'm going to read it from the perspective that I think you are the dragon, but I'm also seeing you coming through as the shark as well. So this is going to be a bit interesting, isn't it? The dragon holds the power in this dynamic, okay? And the dragon is, I'm drawn to the dragon's eye. This dragon is the person who is awaiting the results, Okay, so the dragon has put an expectation or a condition out there and they're just waiting. Okay, as you can see here, the dragon is also patient. This dragon has all the patience in the world. So they're just hanging back, waiting, watching to see if this person is willing to change their ways, especially if... Um, 
you know, your person is coming through with the obsession. Like if you're a Pisces tuning into this reading and you have been dealing with someone who is completely obsessed with, you know, having threesomes or, you know, some kind of unhealthy sexual addictions, then maybe you have detached from this relationship because you're, you know, you've stipulated that, okay, I'm not going to have a relationship with someone who has this obsession. So until you're willing to change, then I'm going to detach. So maybe you are the one that has severed the tie, okay? But now you're just waiting to see how your person is going to react to that. Now, I feel like your person is coming through as the shark, right? Now, the shark, I'm getting here that you could be dealing, A, with another water sign, so Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. I do see strong Scorpio energy coming through here. But the shark is, um, the shark seeks out wounds, Okay, but I'm getting that the sh whoever is the shark is the one with the wound. Okay, they're the, I know the shark is a hunter, but in this reading, I'm getting that the shark is wounded. Okay, um, they're wounded because maybe like they you've severed the ties okay but perhaps they feel like because see the shark is a is predominantly a, a predator right they're a predator in the ocean and they have the ability to sever limbs or sever uh, whatever they sink their teeth into. So see, that power was taken away from the shark because the dragon person took the power away from the shark. And now the shark is um, obsessed about coming back in and seeking some kind of acceptance or validation from you. Okay, because they're wounded, but they're coming back in, but I don't know if their intention is pure, okay? This person is coming back in because of their pride and ego, because how dare Pisces sever the ties? I'm the one that usually does that. Okay. Mm, this is really interesting because I'm getting a lot of information coming through. So I really do hope that speaks to you. Now, what is it that this person is bringing to the connection at this time? They've got the two of swords in reverse, which is um, a decision. They're making some kind of a decision. That's what they're bringing. So Pisces, if you're waiting for some kind of result or for some kind of outcome, I feel that they will bring this, okay? Now, it's very hard to determine what that outcome is going to be. Whatever result you're waiting for, um, I feel that they are going to produce some kind of a result. But it is only the Two of Swords and with the other cards around here i feel like it's more just their ego and pride that's um being affected okay because it's about see this person had the power taken away from them it there's a power struggle here so they may predominantly come back in like putty in your hands but it's really just so they can come back in and maybe be the person who has the upper hand. Okay. Now, the thing is, 
uh, Pisces, what you're bringing to this connection is the Five of Cups. You are the one, okay? So I'm jumping the gun. Five of Cups speaks to regret, pain, sadness, um, grief, and you're bringing this to the connection. I'm not saying that you're the one that's grieving, but you could possibly well be. But this is what you're bringing because you've decided to sever the ties with this person. Okay, you're bringing um, grief and regret. You're bringing this to this person's attention. Okay, so they're feeling grief and they're feeling regret as a result of you cutting, you know, the cord. But the thing is, is we have a string, a red string tying all of these goblets together. Now, this person cannot seem to let this issue go. Um, so they are going to come back in, but they're coming back in wounded. Keep that in mind, Pisces. They're coming back in wounded. So you need to be prepared um, for perhaps how they're going to approach this. <clears throat> Now, what's blocking this connection at this time is justice in reverse. So this is someone saying, this is unfair. This is completely unfair. An injustice has been done. So because they feel like wrong has been done by them, that's what's going to block this connection from progressing because when we're operating from how dare you blah 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 like that's just all you know ego and pride and needing to feel like um yeah needing to feel validated you know, it's all about oneself, but in a very egotistical way. So when we're coming in like that, of course, it's going to block connection because what's happening here is just then it, it's about ego bumping egos and then nothing really gets solved when egos are bumping egos because if someone's coming in with the the assessment that, how dare you, I've been wrong done by, then what's going to happen is the other person is going to feel like they've been backed in a corner and they're going to want to, um, you know, defend their case as well. So then we have a, a case here where it's egos bumping egos and that will block the connection, that will block forward progress, okay? Now, especially... Okay, I'm also getting here too, just another message is coming through. If you feel like you've been wrong done by Pisces, okay, if if you have someone over here that is has a sex addiction, uh, maybe they're addicted to porn, maybe they have a sex addiction, maybe they love threesomes, and you're not into that, like, of course, you're like, I don't want a part of this. So that is going to block the connection. That is going to block the relationship. You've put a block to it because, or you will put a block to it because you will not move forward until changes are made because you don't want to be in a, in a relationship like that. It's not healthy and you recognize that it's not healthy. So the best thing um, that's going to support you in this connection at this time is the lover's card, which this is about choices. So what's going to support you is that you've got choices, okay? You've always got choices. I don't agree with anyone that says I don't have a choice. Everyone always has a choice. However, the choice that you sometimes have to make isn't what you want to make, but we all have choices and you have a choice to make. This is about choices. You've got choices. You've got a choice to stay and, you know, interact with someone like this 
or you've got the choice to cut the tie and move forward with your life. And that's gonna be a little bit hard because we do have the lover's card here, which, you know, um, this is about a, a, a connection, a, a deep connection here. Remember, we've got this string that's tying all these. This relationship comes with strings attached. And it's gonna be a little bit hard to detach from a relationship like that. This could be a twin flame connection. Okay. Um, this is a strong connection, the lovers. So it is going to be hard to make some kind of a choice, like to make a choice here. Do I stay or do I go? Do I choose me or do I choose them? So there we have it, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you would like to come over to Vimeo with me and unpack this, uh, then I will see you there. Otherwise, if not, guys, this is where I leave you. And until next time, take care.